Slavery is the original sin. Slavery has never received an apology. I am not here in anger or anguish. I am not in any way seeking to encourage hostilities. There are diverse opinions in this room. And I understand it, appreciate it, respect it, admire it, and love it. I'm a product of my history. I am clearly a child that has walked this path. No, I did not pick cotton. But I will say that those who picked cotton created the very basic wealth of this nation. For cotton was king. There was no other product. And so I asked my fellow colleagues that this is simply a constructive discussion that will lead to the practical responses. Reparations and the idea of this commission should be welcomed by all Americans. As president, I would advocate to Congress to pass that bill. This is the first step of acknowledging as a country that hundreds years of slavery and institutional racism have caused mass inequity and harm to black people and has held black communities back for generations from achieving their full potential. I don't think reparations for something that happened 150 years ago for whom none of us currently living are responsible is a good idea. We've you know, tried to deal with our original sin of slavery by fighting a civil war, by passing uh, landmark civil rights legislation. Uh, we've elected an African-American president. We are owed reparations to Nate Day, not because of what, simply because of what happened to our ancestors, but what continues to happen to us. We are owed it. We are owed it because we were paid discriminatory wages. We are owed it because our ancestors who were unpaid have left a legacy to us that says we must close that gap that we experience, but we must do it not simply for us, not simply for our children, but to avenge, to vindicate, and to say that our ancestors have not worked for nothing and died for nothing. that came out of the slave period, their economic foundation was based and stability was based on slave labor and the blood, sweat, and tears of slaves. If our ancestors, and they did, created that wealth, then it seems to me in a very logical way that the status descendants should benefit from that. I just simply ask, why not? And why not now? If not all of us, then who? God bless us as we pursue the final justice for those who lived in slavery for 250 years in the United States of America.